Right, so a lot of wide receivers, what you guys have probably been taught before, is taught to beat the drum and chop your feet. Who's ever heard that before, right? I'm sure all of us have. I think everybody's heard that at one point or another. Now, we don't want to do that because that is just wasted motion at the top of the route. I don't need to beat the drum. I want to be able to get out of the route fast, and I want to be able to have explosion when I get out of the route. So what that comes from is that comes from a hip drop, having a violent hip drop. Because when you guys are running a route, what are we trying to make a DB think I'm doing every time? Fade, right? Yeah, going deep, right? So if I do that, there are three things that do that. It's what? Your pad level, right? You can't raise up and run tall right before the break because that's an indicator. Then another thing is what, what do you guys think? What do you think is another thing that could do that? Thank you, right? So slowing down. So speed, right? So you got to have a good pad level. You got to have good speed. And what do you think one more thing is, if you guys can think of that? Your stride, right? Your stride. So the whole reason I bring that up also is because when you guys are doing those three things, it is impossible to change direction quickly by just beating the drum. Because what's gonna happen is, is if I gotta make a break, like let's say I'm running a 15 yard comeback, and I'm going up to 15, and I'm running as hard as I can, good pad level, but I don't drop my hips and I just try to beat the drum, I'm gonna drift on the route. I'm not gonna make that tight change of direction. When I get low, that's how I make that tight change of direction. Does everybody follow me on that? So